if you try to launch Warhammer 40k Dark Tide on the Xbox app or Microsoft Store and the game crashes, shows an error or the game doesn't even open, then this could be happening because your drivers might be outdated or your game files are damaged or corrupt, so in this tutorial we'll teach you several methods to fix your game. First open Start Menu. Open your settings. Open Apps. Open the Apps and Features section. Locate Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Click on the little dots to open the Warhammer options. Click on Advanced Options. Look the Reset section. If the Warhammer app isn't working right, you can try to repair it. Now press Repair. If Warhammer is still not working right, reset it. Press Reset again. If Warhammer is still not working you could try to reinstall it. If the app is still not working, uninstall it. This will uninstall the app settings. Your documents will not be affected. In the next solution we'll update your GPU drivers in case they are outdated. Open your start menu and type GeForce Experience. Open GeForce Experience. Click on Drivers. Press the check for updates. Now click on download to get the latest drivers. Wait for the drivers to be downloaded. Now press the express installation button. Now wait for GeForce Experience to install the latest drivers. In the next solution we'll verify your Warhammer game files in case they are damaged or corrupt. Open your Xbox app. Go to Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Click on the little dots to open the game's options. Click on Manager. Click on Files. First click on Check for Updates. Maybe there will be an update that will resolve your issue. If that didn't work click on Verify and Repair. Choosing to verify and repair your files will reset Warhammer to its original settings. You won't retain any mod files and game saves that aren't backed up may be lost. Now press yes if you want to continue. Wait for Warhammer to be verified and repaired. Now launch your game.
First open your start menu and type control panel. Open your control panel. Open system and security. Open system. Open advanced system settings. In performance click on settings. Open the advanced tab. In the virtual memory section press change. Make sure that the option, automatically manage paging file size for all drives is checked in. If you are still crashing uncheck it. Select each drive. Now check system managed size. Click on set. Do the same with the rest of your drives. Now select automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Press OK. Press OK again. Close the windows and restart to apply the changes. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.